Today, May 15, 2025, Yellowstone National Park was rocked by another aftershock that has caused fear among visitors. This earthquake follows a major earthquake with a magnitude of 8.9 that hit the park on May 14, which was followed by a major eruption of Steamboat Geyser. This aftershock is more severe than the earthquake on May 14. It has a magnitude of 9.1, exceeding the previous earthquake's magnitude of 8.9. The earthquake that occurred on May 14 only triggered an eruption of Steamboat Geyser, unlike this latest earthquake, which has triggered two major eruptions at two different locations. Steamboat Geyser as before. Beehive Geyser, a new eruption that did not occur before. This suggests that this latest earthquake has a wider impact and has the potential to trigger eruptions at several different locations in Yellowstone National Park. Both of these major eruptions have disrupted tourism in Yellowstone. Volcanic ash and steam have spread to the surrounding area, causing air quality to decline, and some visitors have been reported injured by the eruptions. The steamboat geyser eruption from the previous earthquake on May 14 only reached a height of 400 feet, about 122 meters, into the air. Meanwhile, the steamboat geyser eruption from this latest earthquake reached a much higher height, namely 600 feet, about 183 meters, according to initial reports. However, some other sources report that this eruption even reached a height of 800 feet, about 244 meters into the air. This shows that the steamboat geyser eruption from this latest earthquake was much stronger and more powerful than the previous eruptions. This most powerful steamboat eruption was followed by a massive eruption at Beehive Geyser. 12.25 p.m. Mountain Time, Beehive Geyser erupted, sending steam more than 300 feet, about 91 meters, into the air minutes after the unprecedented eruption of Steamboat Geyser. The incident has caused thousands of visitors around the area to panic and run away from the location of the two eruptions. The latest earthquake had a magnitude of 9.1, larger than the previous earthquake which had a magnitude of 8.9. A larger magnitude means more energy is released, making the latest eruption more powerful. Magma pressure. The latest earthquake caused the pressure of the magma below the Earth's surface to increase higher, making the eruption stronger and higher. Gas content. The magma beneath Steamboat Geyser had a higher gas content at the time of the latest earthquake, making the eruption stronger and higher. Geologic structure. The geologic structure beneath Steamboat Geyser may have changed after the previous earthquake, allowing for a more powerful and higher eruption. Scientists from the United States Geological Survey USGS, and other agencies are very concerned about the situation. We have never seen this much volcanic and seismic activity in Yellowstone in such a short period of time. Dr. Michael Poland, USGS scientist, we are concerned that this could be the beginning of a much larger eruption. Dr. John Taylor, USGS geologist.
Close monitoring of volcanic and seismic activity in Yellowstone. Evacuation of visitors and residents in the area. Preparations for a larger, more powerful eruption are in place.